Now, normally I don't do this. I usually don't open or even deal with or collect fast food premiums. Unless it's something that's really cool or vintage or something I really like. Uh, but I got these in a lot. These are the Batman the Animated Series figures from McDonald's from 1993. Uh, we have Catwoman, we have Batgirl, and we have the Riddler. Um, this was my least favorite of the three, so I'm going to try to sell that guy. And these two I thought were pretty cool. Uh, they're, they're good sculpts. I actually had owned that panther that she comes with. I, or, excuse me, it's a, it's a leopard. I had no idea what it was until I received this, and I thought, oh, okay, cool. Um, but I'm going to sell her. I think she's worth a little bit. But this Batgirl figure, and the reason I think these are cool, there's actually eight total. Obviously, there's going to be a Batman, a Robin. I'm sure there's a Joker. Um, I don't know what else they made. But this is actually a pretty cool sculpt, a pretty cool figure, just kind of as a, a PVC. You know, generally, the McDonald's toys and a lot of fast food premiums are kind of bootleg. But, oh, look at that. Is she, she looks like she got sawed in half and not put together right, but... Um, but in terms of a figure, I mean, this, you know, looks cool on a shelf. You don't see a lot of Batgirl stuff, especially from back then in the 90s. Really kind of any female figures. So as a as a comic book fan and as a father of two daughters, it's nice to have a, you know, some variety. Nice to have a female, you know, positive female crime fighting figure to, to put on our shelf. So, you know, not a lot of playability here. I mean, it's a little bit of articulation in the arms and the waist. It looks like it's going to break if I do that. But no, no, there we go. Um, but, you know, good likeness of her. I'll see the Batman animated series has a pretty uh, pretty big following. I was never a huge fan of it, but it's okay. I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. But um, I don't know. I think this looks cool on a shelf. You know, it's going to look good with the other DC comic toys I have. And um, I don't know. That's, that's why I decided to open it today. There's not really much more I have to say other than uh, McDonald's is a huge evil corporation. You should not eat there or, or drink there or purchase anything from there, even coffee, because they... Uh, exploit their workers and the environment and advertise to our children and all these other horrible, 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 horrible things. So uh, so don't support McDonald's, but, you know, if you find a, a cool vintage uh, toy from there, you know, I don't think you should feel too guilty opening it. Um, just as kind of a, an aside here, I have another one. This is the Baby Sinclair from the Dinosaurs line. I was a big fan of that show. He's kind of, you know, if you didn't, weren't going to have any nightmares tonight, there you go. So, um, I think I also have a Chicken McNugget, a Halloween McNugget, McNugget Buddies, the witch there. So, there were some cool toys back then. They don't definitely don't have some of the same ones now as they did back then. But, um, yeah, don't support McDonald's, but open your toys, play with them, enjoy them. And if you buy them on the secondary market, don't feel guilty.